Don't forget to check out and grab your copy of our two newly released books, Football, A Love Story, and What Did Football Teach Me? These books feature over 100 stories from current and former coaches, players, executives, and entertainers from across the football landscape describing what got them involved in a game, what they love about it, and what life lessons the game taught them. You can find your copy or order your copy from our website at footballgameplan.com slash books. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Welcome back, to back, footballgameplan.com back, back. where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you our 2016 NFL Draft Grades video for the New Orleans Saints. We're going to take a look at all of their draft selections as well as some undrafted free agents that you want to keep an eye on. Every offseason, it seems as if the Saints are facing the same situation. Little cap room to sign free agents, so they have to maximize the selections they have in the NFL Draft. Well, more so than any other year, they did exactly that in 2016. Defensive tackle Sheldon Rankins out of Louisville is a tremendous defensive lineman who's able to disrupt and alter plays on the regular. With his quickness off the ball, more often than not, you'll find number 98 in the backfield. He's outstanding in one-on-one -on -one situations. New Orleans needed to add more explosiveness out on the flanks, and adding Mike Thomas out of Ohio State accomplishes that goal. Thomas is a Pierre Garçon clone that has the ability to take a short pass a long way. Landing free safety Von Bell out of Ohio State is a great get at a position of need. Bell is a ball hawk with above average range, and Jarius Bird is a good player at free safety, but health hasn't been his friend in New Orleans. Bell gives them some much-needed talent and insurance and also the ability to match up versus wide receivers. I'm a big fan of David Onyemata out of Manitoba. I saw him live last year at the CIS East-West Bowl in Montreal and this past January at the East-West Shrine game. At 6'3", 300 pounds, Onyemata can play anywhere along the defensive line and has Leroy Glover-like strength at the point of attack. Daniel Lasko out of Cal was one of the standouts at the East-West Shrine game this past January and what's impressive about his game is his ability to accelerate out of his cuts and also his footwork. He was banged up a lot at Cal, so you hope that's all behind him as his potential is pointing in the right direction. Landon Turner out of North Carolina was my number one rated guard prospect in this year's draft class with a first round grade, so obviously I think this is a huge get for New Orleans. Turner has starter skills and comes to the Saints with the chance to start as an undrafted free agent. Jack Allen was a highly decorated player at Michigan State and was shocked to see him go undrafted, so he provides excellent depth, in my opinion, behind Max Unger. Wide receiver Jared Dangerfield out of Western Kentucky is very similar to Willie Sneed, and that's in every capacity and what he brings to the table. Dangerfield had a great week as well at the East-West Shrine game and can play inside or out. Cornerback Devontae Harris out of Texas A&M is a feisty corner with the ability to both mirror and press very well. I think he's better in off coverage where he can use his read, react, and ball skills to the fullest. Keep an eye on Jimmy Pruitt out of San Jose State. He fits the mold of last year's draftee Damian Swan out of Georgia, a great matchup corner that plays with length and also has above average technique. The Saints got an A-plus for their draft. They match need with A-plus talent and also came away with two potential starters in the undrafted free agent department. This, in my opinion, is the best Saints draft in the Sean Payton era from top to bottom.